Okay, so we can do some more of these problems here. Now we have these lots of powers here embedded inside, uh, so times and divide embedded inside powers. We can apply these powers from outside in if we like. Okay, in fact, I'm going to do that, although typically we should work inside out. So I'm going to apply this power from the outside in. So I get c to the power of 6. In the numerator, I get a to the power of 3 root the square root squared. That's going to undo each other. So I'm going to get power of 3. b squared. Here I'm going to get a squared. Here I'm going to get b to the power 2 over 4, which I'm going to simplify to 1 half. So this is one bracket. The other bracket, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to end up 3 to the power 3. A to the power 12. B to the power, this is going to combine to 3 over 2. Again, we probably would be easier to do inside out, but I'm going to do outside in showing you that we can distribute powers across times and divide. We, reminder, we can't do it across add and subtract though. So this power down here is going to be power 6. Okay. So now I'm going to combine, do the inside brackets. So I end up with C6, A1, B2 minus B1 half is B1.5 or 3 halves. Okay, here we're going to, I'm going to take the 3 to the power of 3 out of here. Okay, and we're going to end up with A12 and one and a half minus, so this is going to be b to the four and a half, so it's going to be, I'll do it in terms of over two, so it's going to be negative nine over two, okay, because I have more on the divide, so I should end up being minus power. Okay, the negative power means divide. So then combining these, I get, I'm going to do the a's first, a13, one and a half, take away four and a half, leaves me with six over two, negative six over two, which is gonna be negative three, and then c to the power of six, okay? This is good enough, although we really should express our times on top, divide on bottom. So there's my times on top, divide on bottom. Here we want to express as a power and a root, so I'm going to apply the root first, cube root of 8, then we're going to square it. Okay, there's our power, there's our root. I'm going to cube root 125, and then square that. Okay, so the cube root of 8 is 2, cube root of 125 is 5, and then I'm going to square those numbers, 4 over 25. Okay, so notice that I cube rooted first to make the number smaller. If I wanted to do this in my head, I don't want to square first and then cube root, because it's really hard to do cube roots of really, really big numbers. 